Hello friends, so in this video, I'll talk about more basic stuff of ASC that is Adaptive Security Appliance of Cisco. So I must tell you that there are two ways to manage Cisco ASC firewall. One is using CLI that we've been doing. And if we talk about CLI, then we have console. Like I have taken the console access of ASC. Second is Telnet, then SSH. So ultimately three ways under CLI. Second one is GUI, graphical user interface. And in that we will access it using HTTP or HTTPS, but the software will be there. And the name of that software will be ASDM. We also need to install the file on Cisco ASA. So let's concentrate on the first thing first. And one more thing, there are two modes of firewall. One mode is router mode. And second mode is transparent. So either the ASA will be in router or in transparent. So it cannot be in both at the same time. So by default mode is router. So what does this router means? It is just like a router. So if there are multiple interfaces, that would mean there are multiple segments, multiple networks. So like this ASA is in router mode, R mode. So this is one segment. This is second segment. So if there was any third device here, let's say router four, then there would be third segment. This is what happens in router mode. And if you set it up in transparent mode, what will happen? It will just act as a pass through means it will sit between the single segment. So in that case, they would be single segment like uh, 10 series. The IP of router two will be 10.1.1.2 and it will be 10.1.1.1 and this firewall will uh, sit in this uh, in this segment and we need to enable bridging in there it is just like your hub so if you have a hub between router interface and your workstation the segment is same but hub will just act as a pass through so that is a transparent mode in companies we also enable a firewall into transparent but you cannot mix both and you cannot switch like you cannot make it transparent at one stage and out at other stage. It will affect your configuration. So I've talked about two ways to access ASA and two mode of firewall. So let me show you how to check the mode of the ASA. So I've taken the console of this ASA. Show firewall. Okay, so it is in router mode. If it was in transparent, you would have seen that option. Okay, and one thing I did not tell you how to delete the configuration, right, erase. Hit enter, it will erase the startup configuration. Other ways that you use the command clear startup configuration. You, whatever you save, that will be deleted. If you want to also delete your running configuration, after that you can copy the startup file to the running. Let me show you. Once you have deleted startup, then copy startup to running just to delete your running configuration as well however don't do it in gns3 you can practice it and uh, one more thing in this diagram i've changed the devices okay in previous diagram r2 was here and r1 was here so it was a bit difficult to understand because i have made this one as inside okay and this one is outside so now router one will be in this side and router 2 will be on this side so i was telling you one thing show ip interface sorry show ip you can see these two interfaces if you want to see the configuration of let's say the first interface big 0 slash 0 you will see the name security level ip address okay and if it is shut down it will say shut down but there are some commands which are uh, running in background on this interface so how would you check that Easy way is that you run this command show run uh, show running config space all this keyword has to be entered show running config space all then interface gig 0 slash 0 now you can check speed uh, it is set to auto duplex is set to auto flow control is disabled this cts manual command is there delay value is visible so means these main commands are running and once you hit enter show run space all you'll get more detail about uh, running configuration. Some sort of commands are uh, hidden in running. See how much detail is there. Once you simply enter show run, you will not get huge output. It will be just brief. I have configured router one, router two. 
let me mention the ips here this is inside security level is 100 more trusted segment is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 dot one is this one dot two is this one okay from dot two that is r1 we will be able to ping the asa interface 10.1.1.1 it is pingable so if you want to block this ping at the asa what you can do is go under the config mode and mention this command icmp deny you can particularly mention the ip here i'll just mention any define the in interface name icmp deny any inside so what will happen that the ping will not work this way you can block the ping as well this is just for information purposes now you want to verify the icmp configuration show an icmp whatever icmp commands are there those will be visible so let's just delete that command it is just that i'm showing you there is an option there uh, now i'll talk about the packet tracer the utility in this cisco asa to check whether asa will allow the traffic or not without you having to generate the traffic let's say this segment is 20.1.1.0 slash 24 this one is outside with zero security level this one is inside with 100 segment is 10.1.1.0 slash 24 dot two is dot one dot one dot two I told you that telnet traffic from this machine will reach here, right? It worked. And if you have no ability to log in into this R1 to test the telnet, what you can do is you can use the command packet tracer. Means with this command, you can check whether certain type of traffic is allowed or not. So how you will check that? So like uh, if I do telnet to 20.1.1.2, it is saying it is open but password is not set but at least it is open right so if you want to check on asa without testing the things command is packet tracer input here you mention the interface on which you want to check the traffic means on which interface the traffic is coming like in this case it is coming on inside here you define what sort of traffic that is what protocol tcp define the source ip it is 10.1.1.2 define the source port see source port we know it will be random but out of 65500 something ports we know that the first 1024 ports are reserved for applications so it will be window will automatically assign port above 1024 so you can mention any source port for testing because we don't block things on the basis of source port but we block or permit on the basis of destination port so just mention any port above that 1331 destination ip will matter here 20.1.1.2 the destination port is telnet port or you just mentioned 23 telnet and hit enter so it will give you one line answer whether it is allowed or not means there would be steps uh, which it checks like phase one phase two in phase one it checks the root it is in found the next offer this then it checks the net then certain ip options QS, other IP option, flow creation. Answer is this one. Action is allow. Means the telnet will work. That is why it worked. Now, if you want to check the other way around, like from router 2, that is from this one to this one, that is you want to check to 10.1.1.2 telnet. So I don't want to go to R2 and uh, generate traffic, but I want to check from here. Packet tracer input. So here the interface will be outside. The first packet will enter from outside, right? Input outside. Telnet is a part of TCP23. The source IP will be 2. Any random port above 1024. Let's mention 55617. General people mention 1025. And destination will be 10.1.1.2 destination port number 23 hit enter it is saying acl drop so there is an acl the global acl the route lookup is there nat is permitted there's implicit rule by default rule which says uh, traffic from untrusted to trusted will not be allowed unless you have a specific rule okay because the security level of this one is zero and this one is 100 lower to higher inside is more trusted outside is less trusted 
what's your name if this is the way you can check that understood this thing so this is what i wanted to tell you in this video it was just a basic stuff okay i'll keep on adding more content so i hope you will give appropriate rating and feedback thank you so much for it